Hey there, it's me Lauren Bold Ocean Quilting and I am at AQS Daytona right now at the Ocean Center um, in the APQS booth letting y'all play with the machines and showing you how much we love our APQS machines and so I figured each morning I've got some time to film a video. So for today we're going to show you pebbles. So some tips for pebbling. So if you're new to pebbling, what I recommend first is getting comfortable with a loop-de-loop -loop. and I'm on my phone so I gotta stop to talk to you but you want to work on just kind of getting the motion and the shape. Right? And then those loops become like bubbles in a circle. Come out real wide and then try to hit the curves as you practice. Try to hit those curves. Make them big. When you're on a long arm machine, it's easier to make your pebbles bigger, to, to practice making the circles big, and once you get the shape, practice making them smaller and smaller and smaller until they get to be where you want to be. And then you start pulling those loop-de-loops -loops closer. See how we've got these lines getting closer and closer? So as you practice and get better, you want to try to get those circles run right on top of the other. I'm looking through my phone to film, so sorry. Let me look at the pebbles here. There we go. So then you try to stack them on each other. And so if you want your pebbles to not have a line going through as you're building your pebbles, see how we're building some thread here? What you want to do is try to stagger them and make them alternate sizes. So see how this one's big and these two are small and then that one's big? You'll go through and you'll make some even smaller ones and then pop a bigger one right in the seam right here so that you don't build thread and see an obvious path of where you started and where you finished. Okay, so we'll do littles, come around and do bigs. Now, if you're having trouble getting the pebble shape, and let's say you don't love, see how this one's kind of square, um, there's other things that you can do, especially when your thread matches your fabric. So if you wanted to, you could go around, hi Pauline, you could go around your pebble a couple times. And you could do a fun, real, this will be a really dense filler but you can go around it a couple times until you actually get a circle shape that you love. And then this could be a really nice dense filler in the background and when you see all of the, um, hi Michelle, when you see all of the little um, high and low areas in your pebbles, these are really gonna jump off the top because this thread is so packed down. So um, when you're practicing, definitely just start with loop-de-loops. Then bring those in closer and try to ride those lines and get kind of bubbles on a string. And then those bubbles on a the string, they'll get closer and closer until you get pebbles. And you'll notice that I do kind of a figure eight design. So I kind of go around and then I snowman it and I do a figure eight, come around and you know go as slow or as fast as you need to. You know those little um, dots that you can get at a garage sale and you put your $5 stickers on? You could put those around your quilts and just practice your loop-de-loop -loop and your pebbles going around those to get a circular shape. Okay, and so let me show you what it looks like if you do a lot of this kind of extra filled area. See these here? So those are really tiny and um, when you go, oh, a good tip for pebbling, right now I'm using the regulator. These pebbles are really big, but if I wanted to get really, really dense, tight pebbles like these, what I'm going to do is go into manual mode and I'm going to um, make the stitches real small and I'm going to go around all of those. So let me show you manual mode real quick. So I turned off my stitch regulator. And I turned the speed up on my manual mode. Yeah, Michelle, it's a great idea. You want to go into manual. And so that allows you to kind of go fast if you're a fast quilter. You can turn down the you can turn down the needle speed if you're a slow a slower quilter. There's nothing wrong with going slow. I just tend to quilt fast. So for me, I like the needle to go a little faster, otherwise my stitches get real big. So that can help your pebbles get really round and then the biggest trick guys I mean if you look at this it's really hard to see where your needles at especially if you're using a ruler foot you can use other feet that give you better clearance but when you're pebbling the biggest tip is you're getting a sense for where your needle actually is I'm not working 
um, based on what I can see and where I can see my needle going, I'm anticipating where my needle's going to be and I'm trusting my hand-eye coordination to get my needle to the place to where I want to go. So I hope that is helpful for you. Please give the video a like and a share. Remember we're at AQS Daytona working on some pebbles today and I'll be quilting away. Um, if you're here, come stop by booth 1107, but definitely if this tip is helpful, share with your friends. Take care and happy quilting, y'all.